Live from WTVG Toledo, this is 13 ABC Action News. Good morning. It's Saturday, August 16th. Thanks for waking up with us. I'm Christy Lee. All right, thank you, Kelly. Happening right now, thousands of people are taking part in the Color Run. Here are some live pictures from downtown. The Color Run began at 8 this morning, starting and ending at Promenade Park. Runners are wearing colorful clothes, of course, and tutus, and are encouraged to run and dance through the course. The Color Run is known as the happiest 5K on the planet. It celebrates healthiness, happiness, and individuality. Money raised for this run will go to Mercy Children's Hospital. There will be several street closures because of that color run. Take a look at your screen here. Summit, Huron, St. Clair, and Wade will all be closed starting at 7.30 this morning through the end of the run. For more traffic information, get connected to our website, 13abc.com slash timesaver traffic. Hey, speaking of traffic, how about if you're behind the wheel of one of these bad boys? All right. And just in this morning, a man who was severely beaten was rushed to Mercy St. Vincent Medical Center overnight. We're following this breaking story with the Toledo Blade. Emergency crews were called to the 900 block of Buckingham Street at about 215. We're working to get an update on his condition as well as any information on suspects. We'll bring you details as soon as we get them. So we will close in on 90 by Thursday. I'm not saying we'll hit the number, but we'll be close. All right, let's hear your Tim Allen one more time. <laughs> <laughs> the You're a <laughs> there you go. Your trip begins in the Irish Hills. All right. <laughs> Thanks very much, Ben. Well, this weekend, well, for ticket information, you can get connected at 13abc.com. New this morning, ODOT has approved a $2.4 million grant to improve two streets in Finley. The Courier reports the funds will enhance Main and Cory streets. The money will pay for walkability as well as bicycle accessibility. It will also help with downtown aesthetics. This is all part of a larger downtown improvement plan, which will cost about $7 million. City officials say the bulk of the construction will start in 2017. And coming up, NASA is asking for your help with its latest out-of-this-world research project. But first, here's a look at last night's winning lottery numbers. The pick for Ben Cathy is joining us live from the 13 ABC First Warning Forecast Center. Hey, it's been chilly. Ben, I want to hear some good news about the weather. I have a race to run tomorrow. What's it going to be like? Well, if you run the race, I think you'd want a little bit of cool. Well, another car lover's dream is happening in Metro Detroit this weekend. Yes, some proud classic car owners showed off their vehicles in suburban Detroit last night. This might bring back a few memories. Take a look at this. About 400 classic cars were slated to participate in this parade last night. You know, the cars there are all older than 1979 just like me. It's all part of the <laughs> Woodward Dream Cruise where cars of all years, makes and models slowly drive the strip from Detroit to Pontiac. It's a good time every year. All right, well, hey, stay right there. We have another half hour of news straight ahead as we take a live look downtown, looking down on the color run. All right, thanks, Ben. When officers say drive sober or get pulled over, they mean it. Overnight, Lucas County deputies kicked off a two-week crackdown on drunk driving with a sobriety checkpoint. Officers pulled over every car passing through the intersection at Salisbury and Briarfield in Maumee. Now through Labor Day. New this hour, state troopers are announcing the location of tonight's sobriety checkpoint. It will be along McCord Road on the western side of Lucas County from 9 tonight until 1 in the morning. One news. Good morning. It's Saturday, August 16th. Thanks for waking up with us. I'm Christy Lee. Christina Williams has the morning off. And I'm Tony Geftis. We are working on several stories for you this morning. Crisis. City officials have now deemed the water safe, but some are still wary of drinking it and have bought water filtration systems instead. But are those really effective in stopping microcystins? Those are the toxins from the algae that led to the crisis. 13 ABC's Amy Montgomery talks with an expert to get some answers. It's safe. I'm drinking the water.